Look at the agenda for today, and that gives you a pretty good idea of what host Italy deems the most important. A working session on Africa, development and climate change, one on the Middle East, and two working sessions on Ukraine. The Prime Minister will participate in all of those summit meetings, but he will also hold private bilateral meetings with the leaders of Germany, France, and Ukraine. He could also meet with the Pope later in the summit. Pope Francis will be here tomorrow to talk about artificial intelligence. This will be the first G7 visit from a pontiff. The big storyline today, though, a deal to use Russian frozen assets to help finance the war in Ukraine. The U.S. president proposed to give Ukraine a $50 billion loan, backed by the interest generated on nearly $300 billion worth of frozen Russian assets sitting in financial institutions. And that's supposedly been agreed to by the G7 leaders. A formal announcement could come down later today, 